Okay, how's it going, YouTube? Uh, I'm getting ready to shoot a follow-up video to uh, the one I shot about the 16 by 9 to 2 by 3 5 aspect ratio. Uh, this one's going to go, it's going to be more image heavy. It's just going to be purely showing the differences between the two images when the Lumigen Radiance processor uh, does its nonlinear stretch to the image. Um, there will be quite a number of fora that will be used. There will be Blu-rays, television, computer, video games, um, just the, it's going to run the gamut. Alright, and it will be on this 2 by 3 5 aspect ratio screen, all of it. Now here we have a scene from Avengers, this is the 16 by 9. So a few movies of recent years to be shot in 16 by 9. I believe the director said it was supposed to be because the characters are large. Uh, so that's how it looks, 16 by 9. I'm getting ready to use the the NLS, the nonlinear stretch, to search it to 16 to 2 by 3 5. On the way to the next uh, wide shot. There we go, something like that. So it just got it just got switched. Now. It still looks natural. Well, let me show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to wait for a close up. Right there should do. And I'm going to go back and forth between the 16 by 9 and the 2 by 3 5 aspect ratio so here we have that's 16 by 9 that's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and then using the NLS to stretch it to 2 by 3 5 as it's just take a look before I do this take a look at his face take a look at the pieces of his armor and things of that nature so you can see so you can see um, and you know, help determine whether or not the way it stretches is right for you. So, I'm going to NLS right now, and there you go. So, the picture itself gets larger. Um, of course, stretching is involved, but the Lumigen does not only stretch horizontally, there's also some uh, vertical stretching with some mouth cropping at the top and the bottom as well. You do lose a little bit of information. The trade-off is more than worth it for me. If you're a purist, you're probably better off. Well, it's not for me to say what you're better off doing, but for me, I'm pretty close to purist, and I love this. Nice. So that's the Avengers. All right, this is a scene from uh, the first Terminator. Uh, this is on Blu-ray. So uh, right now it's in 16 by 9. And we're getting ready to take it to 2 by 3 5 in a little bit. Just want to you get a feel for the picture. You know. Just to get used to it. So 16 by 9. Now I'm going to switch it to 2 by 3 5. I'm going to wait for a good scene. All right, pause out. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to pause. I just want to let it flow so you can see how natural it can be. All right, there we go non-linear stretch so right now it's at 2 by 3 5 let's do that again right now it's 16 by 9 so take a look you can see Ralph Arnold here come on kill them all yeah no I'm joking but yeah so then I'm gonna go ahead stretch it to once again to 2 by 3 5 using the Lumigen NLS and it looks very natural it's very immersive you know I mean I I love it you know it, it's, it's an older movie but it's a it's a classic so once more 16 by 9 and then the 2 by 3 5 so you can take a look just to see the overall picture. It's a club picture, a face. What I may do, no. 
So. I'm actually keeping up because I like this part. That's a classic. There we go. The walk. Stretch. This is a classic scene. I'm sure everybody watching this is familiar with this. This is a scene from The Dark Knight. Uh, it looks like a 2 by 3 5 image, but that's only because this is a 16 by 9 image, but it's framed at the 2 by 3 5 because this is one of the 2 by 3 5 sections of the film. So let me turn this on so you can see. So you take a look, the top and the bottom. I have the letterbox, you know, the um, the, the black bars uh, up top and up bottom. So this is, you know, the, the Lumigen does essentially a one-to-one -one, uh, transfer. So it looks, it treats it as, as if you're watching on a 16 by 9 screen. It just happens to be on a 2 by 3 5 actual screen right now. But it's still the 2 by 3 5 image with the, letter, the, the, um, the black bars on top and the bottom. So this is how it looks. And you're going to see the transition from this from the the black bars to the full 16 by 9 image as soon as you keep keep a lookout for the Lamborghini that's when it's going to ex explode to the full 16 by 9 image right there see that so it, it made the transition to 16 by 9 so what I'm going to do I'm I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing that I just did, but I'm gonna but the the way you deal with this here it's actually a multi-step process. Uh, if you're doing it from here, it's a multi-step process, but it's usually just a one-time thing, where you set it like for instance for this for this the way it is now, uh, the the 60 by 9 image with the black bars on the top of the bottom. What I what I would what I would do, which is what I did with all the black bars is because it's already because the projector is already you know using the the zoom mode for to get rid of the bars what i do is i select the two by three five that this is what this is what fills the screen with the actual two by three uh, two by three five image ignoring the black bars and the way the lumage and scaling works is when it's when it switches to a 16 by 9 image then nothing will change. The aspect ratio will stay the same as it continues to go. So once again, keep a lookout for the Lamborghini. Now you see, it maintained the sixteen, uh, the, the the two by three five image. Uh, as it as it went through, so uh, very similar to uh, to the Dark Knight. This is Tron Legacy. Uh, this image once again it only looks like a two by three five image because it's a sixteen by nine image with the black bars. Let me turn on this, the light once again so you can see what I mean. See the top of the bottom of the screen. You've got the black bars. So um, I'm gonna play this through. You're gonna see. Uh, as as he goes up an, an elevator, you're gonna see the image switch uh, to a full 16 by 9 image. Yeah, as, as he heads up, you'll see. Uh, when he reaches the top, then it'll do a complete switch to to 2 by 3 5. I mean, I'm sorry, to 16. They see there we go. And that's the full 16 by 9 image right there. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, as before, I'm going to go ahead and, and um, make the image two by three five for you know to to, to deal with the the top and but top and bottom black bars, and then you'll see how throughout it, it's going to maintain that aspect ratio 
throughout. So I'm getting ready to hit the button now to put it to two by three five. It will get rid of the black bars. And you know, let me turn on the light so you can so you can see um, how it does it. With here here, you you can actually see the the borders of the screen, and you're gonna see what happens when I hit two by three five right now. See, there you go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. 16 by 9, see the black bars top and bottom, 2 by 3, 5, completely covers the bars. And for, and in case you're wondering, you know, so part of the, part of the progress bar is, is not visible. That is because that progress bar exists in a space of the image that is normally taken up by the black bars. So, um, normally, uh, I, it's not something that I use. It's one little quirk of using the two by three five. Um, well, anybody who uses the zoom method encounters it, but um, yeah, but with the, especially with with the Lumigen, since when you configure the Lumigen for the for the two by three five, uh, you also you also configure it not to show any of the information that's in the black bars. That way, you don't get any unwanted information off your screen. All right, so uh, take a look again. I'm going to play this scene once more, just like you just saw it. You're gonna see that when he reaches the top of the elevator, and then the the, the camera is right in front of him, you'll see that uh, nothing changes. It, it it still looks regular. So we'll be going up in a second. All right, he's heading up now. It's coming very soon. Right there, that is a scene that normally expands to the full 16 by 9 image. So that that is Tron Legacy. All right, hey, this is uh, Game of Thrones. It's an HBO series uh, shot completely in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, so it's right now it's it's in its native 16 by 9. I'll have to turn the volume down. So this is it in its native. Uh, this is actually a very good disc. If you don't have this, I mean, it is it has reference quality video. All right, so this is the 16 by 9. Just once again, just leaving here so you can get used to the used to the video, used to the size. All right, now I'm going to switch, turn on the the nonlinear stretch to fill the 2 by 3 5 screen. Boom. This fills the screen. Still looks natural. I mean, the, the stretching, you can't even really tell. I can't. So most people who come here can't. Um, it's a very natural process. And you can change the parameters of the actual stretch as you do it. So that's definitely something to keep in mind, too. If there's a particular portion of the screen where you feel it's too stretchy, you can simply modify it. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty easy to do. So that's uh that's Game of Thrones. But we'll get to actual people soon. <laughs> yes, the intro is a little long. But yes, this is Family Guy. Of course, it's stretched, but it doesn't. It's not obviously so. You know, you'd have to have a, you'd have to have a sixteen by nine, by nine image right there to be able to actually tell the difference. Frost. Get switched. 